Welcome to another episode of Marketing Hacks. In this episode, we're gonna be showing you how to add a contact form using Optimize Press 3.0. We're gonna do it in two steps. So this request actually comes from a YouTube channel called Be Healthy and Young Again. So the comment reads, great video, can you please make one on how to add contact form using Optimize Press Builder? Because I know that this does not have a contact form, we're gonna do this by using a plugin and we're gonna install that in a moment. But I wasn't sure if she wanted a contact form or an opt-in form because some people actually call opt-in forms contact forms. So I went ahead and asked her the question and she wrote back and said, "I want." a contact form that they can write messages with their questions. The contact form will be located in the footer section. Can you please make one because I'm having a hard time what to do because Optimize Press, they don't have the element of the contact form, which is actually true. Inside the Optimize Press 3.0 Builder, there is no contact form element. There's only an opt-in form element. So we're gonna use a plugin to do that and it's really simple. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're inside my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is install that plugin. So go to plugins and add new. And yes, this plugin is free. So let's type in Ninja Forms. Click enter. And that's gonna bring it up right here. It's by Saturday Drive. So let's go ahead and install it and activate it. Okay, so the first step is done. You should see it over here on the left-hand side. So click that, go to the dashboard, and we should see the form load up here. It's contact me form. So this is actually the one that we can use right off the bat, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it so we can see how to start from scratch. Okay, so to delete one of these contact forms, you have to actually add delete in the box and then click delete. So you have to make sure it's all caps and spelled just like this, okay? And now your form will be deleted. So let's go ahead and add a new form and let's choose contact us. Okay, here's our form ready to go. So let's go ahead and click publish. Okay, and it's done. So we can get out of here. Okay, we'll let it load up. There we go. Now all we need to do is copy this short code here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now we have it copied. Okay, so now let's move on to step two. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna create a page here, but she already had a page created and she just wanted it to be in her footer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a test page here just so I can show her how she can add it in her own footer on her own page using Optimize Press 3.0, okay? So I'm gonna go to Optimize Press 3.0 here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page. Okay, I'm just gonna use one of these simple templates here. This one will work. I'm just gonna call it test page and create page. Okay, so it's like a basic website, right? So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom where the footer is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that down here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and want this to be centered. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this box. And now we wanna to go to the element section, grab the custom HTML code with the mouse and put it in the center here. Okay, now click on the little code and now paste in that short code from Ninja Forms. All right, I'm gonna save that and let's have a look. Okay, and there you have it. So it's kind of big for my taste here. So I'm gonna show you how you could resize this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the element code, click on the gear icon, and let's adjust the width here from 100 to 50, okay? Save again, let's have a look. Okay, that's a lot better, okay? So that's how you put it in the footer. Now let's test it out and make sure that it works. Okay, it says form submitted successfully. Confirmation email has been sent to this email address, which is the one that I sent it from. Okay, but I sent it to this one here. So I don't see anything in here in the promotions, nothing in primary. So sometimes the Gmail is gonna send stuff to spam, even though it ain't spam. So if I click on this spam folder, we'll see there it is. Hey, how are you doing? Just checking in. Yeah, so I don't know why the hell Gmail does this, it seems like it wants to send all the damn emails straight to spam these days. 
So just make sure you check your spam folders frequently. Okay, so one thing that I want to touch base on is the actual email address that they will be sending their email to, okay? And that email is going to be designated by the one that you used when you set up that WordPress site, okay? But you can change that if you want to. So let me show you how to do that right quick. Let me go and exit page here. So you would go to your settings, general, and the administration email here. This is the one that you would want to change if you want it to be something else, okay? That they would send the contact information to you there. So if you do decide to change this, make sure, because it says right here, if you change this, we will send you an email at your new address to confirm it. So at the new email address here, you have to click on that confirmation link it's going to send to you, and then it's going to become active. Okay, so just remember that. So I hope this video helps and thanks for the request from Be Healthy and Young again. I appreciate it. I don't mind doing requests like that. It's good fun for me and it'll help others as well. So I'll see you next time on another episode of Marketing Hacks.